Welcome to the channel where I review and give away products. This is a giveaway where I'll be giving away this low power mini PC while at the same time showing you how to install Volumio on the PC. I've got a few videos in the series so the first was an explanation of PyCore Player and a walkthrough of how to set it up. Next I reviewed and gave away a $15 PiFi DAC hat after that I reviewed and gave away the $15 PiFi Digi Transport hat. In this video I will walk through how to set up Volumia Audio Streamer on an old PC. And finally I'll give away a Raspberry Pi 02W and provide a walkthrough of how to set up Mood Audio Streamer on it. This is the mini PC I'm giving away, but any low spec low power PC with a USB port will make a great media center or audio streamer. This has a low power Atom CPU, 6 gigs of RAM and a 300 gigabyte mechanical hard drive. It has a lot of ports which makes it great for someone to use as a media center. And this particular model has a desk stand and a VESA mount so you can mount it to the back of your monitor. You'll need a few things for this. An SD card or a USB stick, even a USB hard drive will work. A tool to image the USB stick, I'll be using the Raspberry Pi imager because it's easy to get and you can, can use it on any platform. And of course an old PC. Small and low power is well suited to audio streaming but anything will work. And a keyboard for initial setup. We'll be installing Volumio to this PC in five steps. First we'll download the Volumio image and image the USB stick. Then we'll plug that USB stick into the computer and we'll set the computer to boot from USB and boot Volumio for the first time. Then we'll install Volumio on the hard drive and once it's on the hard drive we'll use a web browser to configure Volumio. After that we'll set the output device to be a USB DAC and finally you can plug that DAC into your stereo to get music. Before we begin I should mention that Volumio is not very stable. It has many random issues. While recording I accounted a few of these issues and during editing I decided to include them in the video so you can get an idea of the kinds of issues that you may run into. I have highlighted the problems as they arise. First we need to put the Volumio image onto an SD card or a USB stick so we can boot Volumio on the computer. So, first thing we're going to do is download the Volumio disk image. So we go up here to Volumio OS, scroll down a bit and then select PC here. That will download to your computer. Okay, now it's finished. And we're going to extract that to disk. While this is fast forwarding, I forgot to mention the download is a zip file. Inside of that is the Volumio image file, so you'll need to use a tool like WinZip to extract it. Now we're going to put that disk image onto a USB stick. There are various tools you can use to image a USB stick or an SD card, but I'm going to show you the Raspberry Pi imager because it works on PC, Mac or Linux. So you can download the Raspberry Pi imager from the link I'll add on the screen and in the description. Now this tool has been designed to image SD cards for the Raspberry Pi, but it can also be used for this. So for choosing the operating system, um, we're going to say use custom. And then I'm going to go and choose the disk image that I've just extracted, the .img file. And I'm going to open that. And then I'm going to choose the storage. And I'm using a, this is the USB stick I've got. It's a 32 gig transcend. And then I'm going to hit next. Uh, just hit no. And yes, I'm sure. And now I'm being prompted for a password, which I'll enter in. OK, 
Okay, now the USB stick is imaged, we can use it to boot, to boot Volumio on the PC. On the top right, you can see the mini PC. I've attached a LAN cable. The USB stick I've just imaged is plugged into the front USB port. On the bottom right is the screen of the mini PC. I'll turn on the PC. On the keyboard that's connected to it, I'm going to hit Dell. On some computers, it's Escape. But I've pushed Dell and it says entering setup. And then you head across using the arrow keys on the keyboard, push down, boot device priority, enter. And then you can see here, for some reason, this USB stick isn't being detected, but normally you'd have a third option here. And then you use the plus and the minus buttons to change the order of them. And then escape. And then escape again. Oh, no, cancel. You would normally go across to exit. And then save changes and exit. Yes, I want to do that. Now the other way you can do it is you can also hit in my case F11. I've hit it now and now I get the options of which device I'd like to select and in my case it has now it has been detected so I'm going to select USB jet flash transcend and now the system's booting. Now once you get to this point you don't actually need the keyboard anymore so you can go ahead and unplug that. Future self here during video editing. Normally Volumio should boot and show the first run wizard via HDMI but for some reason it hasn't. These sorts of issues plague Volumio. It's not very stable so you'll often find it unresponsive and you'll need to manually restart it when this happens. The interface is easy to use though, and this is why I recommend it for beginners. In the meantime, I've powered it off and then on again to get it responding. Looks like there's a problem with my HDMI input device. Normally you'd be able to see a Volumio user interface when it finishes booting, but that's not happening for me. So let me make that smaller and what we'll do is we'll use the a web interface to configure it. So there are three ways to configure Volumio now. One, you can use the uh, screen. If you have it plugged into a monitor or a TV, you can use a, a keyboard and mouse to configure Volumio. Two, you can use the app. Um, the mobile app that you can get from the Google Play or Apple Store. And the third way, which I'm going to do, is you can use a web browser to log into it over your local area network. To log into the user interface, you first need to make sure you have a LAN cable plugged in, which I have plugged in. And then you need to know the IP address of the computer. And in order to get that, you need to check your router. I'm not going to go through that in this video because it's, I'm assuming that you already know how that works. Let me just resize this window for you so we can look at everything. Okay. Now I checked. And that's the IP address from this computer now. You can see here we're now able to set up Volumio. Right now it's running from USB stick. You can configure Volumio to run off the USB stick and boot every time from USB stick. However, we want to install it on the hard drive. So we're going to first run through the setup wizard from the live boot, and then we're going to install it to hard disk. Any configuration you make when you're running from USB stick will be removed when you install it on the hard drive. So we're just going to skip through this as quickly as we can. 
And then once we install it, we're then going to reconfigure for Lumio. So I'm just clicking through everything here. Done. Okay, and I'm just going to close that. And I'm just going to go, I think it's under, I'm going to go to system, scroll down, yeah, and then you want this option here, install to disk. So I've got a Western digital disk, about 300 gigabytes in this computer. So click install to disk, yes, and now we wait. Okay, so it's finished. So we can go ahead and hit restart and pull out the USB stick. And now it's going to boot from the drive. Okay, so it looks like it's finished. And again, I have a problem with my HDMI input. So we'll just make that a bit smaller. Okay, so now it's installed on the hard drive, it's booting from the hard drive. So now we're going to configure it. So accept that. Let's close this. Okay. As this fast forwards, I'll explain what happened. I started the first run wizard and you'll see Volumio bugged out again. After some messing around, a browser refreshed, fixed it, and I could start the wizard again. Okay, I refreshed it. Let's try again. English. I'm not going to log in. I'm going to call it review and win. And now my output devices are showing up. So you can see there's analog out and that's going to be this 3.5 millimeter jack there. And it's also got SPDIF, which is an optical out, which my computer has. And it's also got HDA NVIDIA, which I assume you can output over the HDMI cable. Now I'm going to leave it on analog for the moment. And then I'm going to go next. If you want, you can connect it to a wireless network. I'm okay, I've got a wired network for now. Um, and you can sign up for some streaming service, which I'm going to skip. We'll turn automatic updates on, and then we'll select done. From this point, you could, you could now listen to music and output it via the 3.5 millimeter, uh, millimeter headphone jack. But that's not, what, not why you're watching the video. Since most people that use an old PC with Volumio on it will not have an optical out or they won't have a HDMI DAC, I will show you how to output via USB. So what you do is you go to playback options and under output device, you can see that nothing is selected. So first we need to plug in the DAC, which is here behind. And I'll plug in the USB cable here. And I'll turn it on. 
Now as you can see you can't actually select USB yet and that's because you actually have to select USB as the source on the DAC. So now USB is selected should pop up. Let's try closing this window again. And now you can see SMSL USB audio. I can select it and I can hit save. And then it will restart. And now let's test the audio. I'll turn my amplifier up. And let's just look for some news some kind of news podcast that news talk te allemaal vast in oude energie gewoonten bij vattenval helpen we je om hiervan los te komen or news max right but it makes me wonder you know how many are left yeah, sadly, even in my day, and I, I've been out over 10 years now, um, in my day, there, the, the estimate was there were 10 to 15. Okay, and that's it. Now, it's really nice about this setup. You don't actually need the monitor plugged in. So you can disable the HDMI output, and you can just turn, them, turn it off by using the power button, and it will just shut down. And then you can just turn it on again. So you don't need a monitor attached and then you can access the music from a web interface or from a mobile app on your phone. Let's start by opening the Play Store and we'll search for the Volumio app and install it. So it's now installed. Let's open it and take a look around. And you can see here it's found the Volumio installation that we set up on the PC. If you open it, the interface is basically the same as using a web browser on a computer. So you can scroll through artists and you can change the view as well to see it as a list. Um, and you've got genres and web radio and that kind of thing. You can also access the all of the settings here. You can turn the device on or off and in system I think you can do software updates and that kind of thing. So it's all there and that's the app. Due to the cost of shipping, this giveaway is unfortunately only for Europe. So you need to watch the video from start to finish. You need to subscribe to the channel, like and leave a comment. I like feedback, good or bad. I'll use a random comment selector and make a video announcing the winner in about three to four weeks or 150 subscribers, whichever is first. I will verify the actual winner before sending it. I won't you ask you for any money. I'll pay the postage. There are often scammers for these giveaways asking you for money. If anyone's asking you for money, then it's a scam. Next, I'll give away a Raspberry Pi Zero 2W and provide a walkthrough of how to set up Mood Audio Streamer on it. After that, I plan to review and give away a phone charge limiter that protects the battery of your phone. I'm open to ideas on tech how-tos, so comment what you want and maybe I'll get around to it. If you've got something out of this video, please like and subscribe because the more the channel grows, the bigger the giveaways will become. Thanks for watching.